Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my church planner. Um, that's what I referenced it or how I called it in my other um, planner videos. So, but technically this year I have made my church planner my primary planner. And I wanted to share it with you guys just so you guys can see how I did that and in case you guys are interested. Um, if you guys find these videos kind of boring, I'm sorry. I am working in other videos. Um, I am working on the Instagram worthy places part two. And I just need a few more places, but I am working on that. And if you haven't done so already, please click subscribe so you guys can get notified when I upload new videos. And I think that's it. So let's just get started. Um, I am going to show you guys how I first composed my um, planner because this is my daily design planner and this is how it looks from like close up, um, the logo. So I basically have made this my primary planner and it's basically customizable like you can do whatever you want. My inserts are from Target the dollar section. All I had to do was hole punch the extra holes for it but I'll show you guys how I did that in just a second and yeah I'll go through every section that I have so hopefully this is helpful for you guys okay so this is my planner how it looked before it still has all the old stuff in it so I'm just gonna empty it out and start taking everything out to start off fresh So these inserts I got from the Target from the dollar section even though each one they weren't a dollar they were three bucks. This first one is comes with the calendar it's empty so you kind of write it in the dates and everything like that and then it also comes with those um the dividers that I'm gonna use for my entire planner and it was just three bucks so I think that was a really good deal. I actually like the colors the gold and the mint blue green color going on so I thought it was really pretty and I like the gold because it goes with my planner. So this is just a closer look. This is what I'm going to use as a template to make the holes on the rest of the papers. So this took me a while just because I don't have the actual hole puncher for this. So I can't hole punch them all at the same time. I have to hole punch each hole one by one. So I first draw one and then I hole punch them. So it takes a while, but I got it done. So once everything was hole punched, it was time to um, insert them. So I started off by putting the dividers, which were so pretty. I love the gold. And then I started inserting each section, which I will go over every section at the end of the video. So I also have some stickers that the planner came with and I usually just put these all the way in the back. I'm going to start inserting some of my cute paper, notebook paper or like notepad paper, some cute um, paper clips, more sticky notes, another paper clip and just start to make it look cute. I do use every single one of those things so when I run out I just insert new ones. Now this little stack of, of post-its was actually too big so I had to cut it so it could fit in the pocket in the front. Okay, so my first section that I have is, I have six sections in total. The first section that I have is my, um, my, my calendar, my 
2017 calendar and these inserts are again from the Target dollar section. All I did was um, insert my stickers that I already had that I used from my Erin Condren planner. So I also inserted this little card which is I cut from my scrapbook and then I just hole punched it and behind it I have my um, bills that I need to pay so that way as the months go by I can just take it out and insert it into the next page. Um, I have everything color coded so this is mainly for church purposes so I am a lot more detailed in my church events so on Fridays I don't have just church I have well except on January because January there's no actual service for each department which you might not understand if you don't go to church but anyways um just ignore that I say it's church I usually starting next month I'm gonna put what services it is if it's women's service men's service kids service youth service so that way I know what's going on every single day and every time I go to church I also have um, church meetings or things that I have to get done for church um, trainings that I have to go to or anything like that I have that all in blue so that's all in blue I don't know if you can see that but I'll give a close up in just a second. And then on holidays, I have an orange. Bills I have that are due are in green. Everything else is in black. Birthdays are in purple. So that's kind of how it works out. And if I take this off, the next pages, I have like little sticky notes because it's not for sure yet. It moves around. So that's why it's in that section like that. And everything is kind of the same as the months go by. So I have all my dates already inserted, so I have a pretty good idea of what events are when, way ahead of time. My second section, it's my daily, my daily to-dos or section blocks or whatever. Again, these are from Target. I don't use this typically every single day just because I don't find the need to. If I have an event, it's just like one event type of thing uh, the whole day or something like that I don't have that much going on so I do get more detailed on the days that I do have a lot more going on that's when I usually use this so but that's not always so that's why I don't really find the need to use this every single day but that's what that section is for on my third section I have my handbook this is last year's um, children ministry handbook I need to insert the new one and in this one I actually created this I, it's just for my purposes of knowing who is in charge of what and kids services and Christmas stuff and it's just all that handbook is this way I'm thinking I'm also gonna add the multimedia handbook that I have in this section as well because I'm trying to multi has two ministries at the same time so that's what um it's gonna be in this section it comes with this little it doesn't come with it but i added uh this little divider in a way but it serves more for the pockets purposes so that's where it has that and then on the fourth section i have my notes section so on services sometimes i take notes on the whoever's preaching i take notes on that my notes are in spanglish and they're not always finished um it's because my church has services in spanish um sometimes in it is it's bilingual but for the most part it's usually in spanish so i try to translate it in my brain and then write it down in english it doesn't always work out like that but um i don't always finish because i have to get up and do stuff um but yeah these are my my notes um especially on sundays when it's fasting once a month we have fasting and it's really early in the morning i rather take notes that way i don't get sleepy and then my <laughs> my little doodles that i've done for my own teaching the kids and stuff so my own notes and then that's in that section um i also have another one of these with pockets in it and then the next section it's my expenses for the children ministry um I usually put a to-do list right here with some washi tape and stuff to make it look cute and then this is where I'm gonna write down the materials or things like that that I buy for the ministry and how much I spent to keep track of it um, also if I want to get reimbursed with something um, currently I think I need to buy materials and the curriculum for this year so that's all gonna go in this section and I'll probably put be putting the receipts here so I don't lose track of those and then the last section is my contacts information which i don't really use i only use it for when my phone's dead or i don't have um my phone in hand i just write it down there so that's where i find that and then i have some few stickers that it came with the planner um and then i have my own stickers which i use for the notes section or for any other decorating section that i want i like the zipper that's where i usually put the 
my envelopes for my ties tithes so yeah that's basically all that's in there if you guys have any questions or want me to be more detailed or something anything um you guys can always leave your comment down below or your question down below and i'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible i usually reply reply pretty fast so that's always good um but yeah i think that's it i'll see you guys next time bye hi guys welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be the girl power tag but before we get started